Hello, and welcome to Nashville Super Speedway here in the ARCA series. I am racing at a bit of a weird time today. Uh, you'll see I'm the number one, unfortunately. Um, I'm racing at about like 4 in the afternoon, 4, um, almost 5 p.m. Because uh, my work hours were weird today. I worked kind of the morning. So I don't normally run this time and there's a lot of names I don't recognize because of that and the ones I do recognize uh, I'm a little concerned because they are some names that I know will run right through you if you let them so uh, a little concerned about that but Nashville Super Speedway is typically a very clean track so let's hope it keeps that reputation for this one I guess I will get all-time optimal uh, for the Q-Lap. Did not turn in correctly there. That sucked. <sighs> that was not a good corner. Hopefully we get a nice run of the line, maybe we can improve the second lap here. It's very not happy with the exit of uh, two there. Hey, love this track. Uh, it's all about, you know, getting it slowed down well enough. Because you do have to use the brakes here, despite it being, uh, well, sort of a 1.5. It's like a one point. Three or something, I think. Okay, what we got? That's six two three to a five oh eight. We will be P two for now, just barely, with the number three, five one thousandths of a second ahead of us. Um, I believe we are going to see Malik Ray's alt account probably take the top spot here, if I had to guess, or get pretty close. He's on his alt account and uh, signed up for the race. So we will see him soon, I imagine. Getting some practice in here for the league race. Yeah, there's some good practice right there. Look at that. <laughs> I'm just messing around, not even paying attention. Um, we will, of course, be coming here for the league race on Sunday. It should be a nice breath of fresh air after the absolute disaster fest that Bristol was. Kind of a tricky pit road to get onto as well. Watch your speed. So, obviously I want to do it faster than that, but I haven't really done any practice yet, so there was step one of my practice, which is just find a way to get on safely. Be Worry about being faster game. later. <laughs> I guess we'll jump out here. Oh, hey, look at that. The number four takes the top spot. And the number five is back there in sixth. That might be his first lap, though. When we will jump out. Shouldn't be too much longer before we get started if I uh, had to guess. Oh, no, we got someone not in here. So we're going to have to wait the full 126. So in that case, I will go ahead and talk about what settings I've chosen. Um, I always do 12 to 1 steering ratio just because that's what I've gotten used to. But of course, don't crank the wheel any more than you need to. And I like the, I don't like the natural to the left for the Arca car. So we got a negative 15. And you really want that brake bias back here, I think. Really want to get as much rotation as you can under braking. So that, again, you're not turning that wheel. So I might even, I think I am going to put that back even further in the car so it's back as far as you can because you know you can start off going as far back as possible which is 60 percent here but once you get in the car you can do the end car adjustment and get up to three percent both directions further on the brake bias so i'm gonna go 57 once i get in the car if uh, you were not familiar with that i've done it before but never really talked about it i don't think so We are waiting on the 4 and the 5, and of course the 16 not being in here, so we are waiting the full 13 seconds that are left. Uh, and we're allegedly supposed to win, but I don't know if that's going to happen. 
I'll try. I'll do my best. It looks like we are starting P3 unless we have a late um, the end of the time thrown in here, but it looks like we will not. So, all right, we're hopping in. We'll have session last lap. Tires do matter a lot here. So that's something important to be ready for. I mean, you see even just in that little practice, 98-98. So they will be wearing. Here's that break bias adjustment I said I was going to do. Just got to remember to use it. And uh, it's also quite important to not just... Uh, slowing slow down the car but try to get on the right rear once you get kind of mid late corner which means being a little aggressive on the throttle which is scary but if you can balance it and get on the right rear and even the tire wear out it can help with that long run pace i don't like that guy's prediction well at least one wreck in the top five but that's where i am Oh my god. He's predicting death for us. We've got fortune tellers on the race and the forecast is not good. <laughs> but hopefully, if that does happen... Oh gosh, why are they being mean? <laughs> There's no car changes allowed during this race. Treat them right, right and good luck. luck. I wonder if they know each other, if they're just being rude for no reason. Anyway... Follow car number zero. Ready to go. I don't know why we get this end pit lane thing all of a sudden after I think it was one of the updates. All of a sudden we get that <laughs> up on the screen. Obviously it's not a big deal, but it's kind of strange. Just one to green here, so we should be getting started pretty soon. I can't. I think it's a second year start if I remember. I did one late night race, I think it was Monday when I got home from work, there was like no one signed up and I just did it for fun. I, I don't even remember how it went, to be honest with you. But hopefully this one goes well, I basically have said that three times, so let's get going. <laughs> I'm apparently running out of things to say. Good jump, it looks like. Might even have the nose on this guy. Not quite. He's going for the lead already. They're going to choose to be side by side. This guy's got more momentum, so I will follow him. If you can take wider entries, it helps you out here. For sure. Really, really pressured from behind. All right, he's going, I guess. I'm not quite ready to push too hard. This is the fortune teller predicting there's going to be a wreck in the top five. Does that mean he's going to cause it? Plot twist of the century, right? Very aggressive, very close racing up here. Don't know if I necessarily want to be part of that yet. I'm just going to let him by. Just a little bit too close for my comfort right here. 
it's making it hard for me to focus on saving tires and not worrying about someone running over from running me over from behind as a guy almost runs me over from behind <laughs> so we're just gonna try to be smooth see that rotation mid late corner as I get on the gas I can probably do a better job of keeping that smooth and balanced rather than getting as sideways but uh, that's what I want to be doing that 8 seems to be driving in much harder than I would like to so that makes me a little bit nervous having him behind me he's just gonna hit me oh my god dude Oh, he's very ready to just blast me from behind. And you can see we're gaining on him on exit, too, because he's just overdriving early to mid corner. I just hope that he's respectful enough not to just run into the back of me. And he's not even one of the ones that I was talking about, like, oh, they will just run through you. Though, like, 4, like, 5 p.m., that's probably when kids are getting off from school, so this is probably <laughs> the high schooler time slot <laughs> so maybe I should have waited a little bit <laughs> or something but we'll see nothing's happened yet I could be complaining for nothing okay oh, wasn't even trying to get to his inside there. Still there. Still there. Stay low. Everyone's racing so close. This guy's gonna wreck me. He's not giving nearly enough room. I still don't want to race hard either. We're still only on lap 9. About push me in the wall. Just go. Said go. Really wasting my time here. All right, get it together. Focus on my line, and then hopefully we'll start reeling guys in. Just if I did an okay job with the tires later on. Gotten pretty single file up here though. You've just done a he drags the wall on entry. Seems like guys aren't losing any time for doing that though. Even the five when he smacked the wall earlier didn't even really lose that much time. That feels tighter than I would like. I wish the setup were a little bit looser. It feels like even with backing down the entry as much as I am, it feels like it's still so tight. But that's, that might just be me. Seventh 
position. So, we are finishing up lap 14 here, still not even halfway. Car feels great. Haven't been pushing at all. Those guys ahead look like they're pushing. They're getting real loose on exit, but getting loose is not as big a deal as pushing it way too hard on entry or something. So you might be okay. Thanks, man. So far, so good. So far, the fortune teller has not been correct about the wreck in the top five. There is time for the prophecy to be fulfilled. That lap time was 31.3. Gosh, they're driving away. Am I, like, doing terrible with the tires? Maybe there's something I'm not understanding about how to save tires here. Hope I'm not the one that falls off. I'm gonna feel like a big fool going slow for no reason. So that's essentially halfway right there, finishing up lap 17. We got a pass attempt going on. That should bring them back to us. Some wall on entry again for the eight. Still doesn't seem like it slowed them, slowed them all that much though. Slowed him down all that much. That was a bad three and four. That's half distance. Fuel levels are fine. That last lap was at 31.4. Maybe I stink at this. <laughs> I don't know. We got lots of distance back to ninth back there. Eighth place is kind of hanging on a little bit still, but. Or harmless wall hits, I guess. Theoretically, with the uh, wall update, or the damage update they did, that stuff's supposed to build. Like, the more you hit the wall, the more problems it's going to cause for you. It kind of stacks on top of each other now. Theoretically. I'm still not seeing anything different from him. After three wall hits. Maybe it takes more than that. I don't know. I think I might stink. <laughs> I don't know. It's not looking like I'm keeping up all too well. I thought I was saving tires. But I think I was just being slow and not saving tires at the same time. Which is not a great combination, actually. Typically not what you want. But maybe uh, within the last, like, ten laps or so, maybe they'll start falling off. We'll see. Okay, Colton. Lap time's pretty consistent. Someone running a higher line up there, they might be struggling with tire wear, and that's what they're doing to hold on. I'm just not doing great today. I feel like I'm not handling the uh, looseness very well, keeping it on the right rear in a very effective way. Oh. Gosh, that guy's pushing up bad right into that guy. 
pretty much. There's door banging. Could that be the wreck in the top five we've heard in legend? Could be. Whoa, it was in there, it almost was. Oh gosh, they're all over the place. Yeah, it's all good, I thought I slid up into you. Well, I saved tires better than the guys behind, at least. It's the fourth time that guy's been on the wall. They're fighting that hard, and I'm still just not even caught up to them. Ugh. Why is my computer getting stuttery? I, I wish I could diagnose that. I keep getting these like frame drops for no reason, and I don't even know why my computer is doing it. It's pretty annoying, because it's hard to hold on to a loose race car whenever you're watching a slideshow. Their side by side is allowing me to catch up. I don't know if that's the only reason, though. Probably is. Fight through the loose. The guy's driving in the grass. Thank you. Yikes, guys. I don't really want to be that close to this, but we are too close to the end of the race to not be pushing. They've been side by side for like 20 laps, I swear. Take a wide entry here, cut down. Okay. Gee whiz, guys. They're killing me. There's battle. I can tell I got better tires than them now, but they are just forming a roadblock. Fifth time that guy's been on the wall. The prophecy has been fulfilled. Rejoice. And that's how we got a top five. I was about to say, you could erase it, but you don't do stupid shit like that. Hey, that made that pass a lot easier. Too bad I lost all that time waiting for them to figure it out. They could have just wrecked each other earlier and. I wouldn't have lost all this time, but oh, well. at least I wasn't in it. I was not one, one of the drivers in the legend. It was just a background character. Sounds like my life. <laughs> and I'm A-OK -okay with that. So we will be at three to go. Don't think I'm catching anybody, but I will be putting my best laps in, because you never know if someone's going to tear down the wall or something, lose a ton of speed. That too looks like he's having uh, tire issues, but pretty darn far away at this point. 
I think I've gotten the habit of driving <laughs> driving the K5 championship. I'm saving tires too much, baby, because I feel like, you know, I've started actually driving now. And I'm like, you know, there's a lot of tire here to use. <laughs> uh, I'm right I'm racing this like it's 135 laps and not 35. So maybe I gotta get my head on straight a little bit with, the, with these sprint races, essentially. 35 laps. But, hey, I'm not gonna complain. I am in 5th place. Top 5 is always A-OK -okay with me. Even as the uh, number 1 car. We'll never complain about a top 5 unless it's a 5 car race. Watch flag, watch flag. Hey, they could, chill, uh, they could still wreck each other, too. It looks like 2nd place is in contention. Two guys close to each other there. <laughs> I've used up my tires a little bit now, so they'll they'll probably look. Uh, oh, someone's in the wall. Not sure what happened there? Uh, the tires will probably look not <laughs> underused, <laughs> but I think I really did underuse them for the first part of the race. Good race, good win. That's the end of the race. Public, the the number seven. Over. Nice run. Solid work. So uh, he is not only a fortune teller, but he is apparently a pretty good racer too. How about that? Multi-talented. Congrats to him. So I will park it. And stop. So, our fifth place finish will get us a massive Babe Ruth 3 to our high rating, 78.75, I think. I saved too much time. Yep, I was racing it like, uh, like the race was 135 laps, but... If I consider this, I was gonna make a quarter. You just on my door. I gave you more room than that. One race is not about that. But I'm feeling pretty good about uh, a longer K5 championship if I've got the right rear more worn. Yeah, so I was just saying. Hey, I feel pretty good about that, though. Makes me even more excited to get the longer race in. I did read it right, didn't I? Okay, 78, 75. Okay, <laughs> making sure I'm not a filthy liar. So, this is kind of loud for some reason. Race cars are loud. Virtual race cars need to be a little less loud. So, oh, we got some action. Lap two. What have we going on? We got someone braking a little harder than someone else expected. 13 gets into the 10, and that causes an accordion effect. Whoa, almost everybody saves it, but the 9 goes around. No further damage, though. Here is a big wall hit. Oh, maybe not. It looks like a big wall hit. This is definitely the moment I remembered. Maybe on my screen it actually looked like a wall hit, but here it looks like he just got really loose and just kind of tapped it with his right rear. So it really wasn't as bad as I think it looked like in my, in my cockpit. And if you didn't know, even though things on the track can look a little bit different on the track for everybody, the uh, replay is the quote-unquote definitive actual thing that happened. So everybody's replay, if I'm not mistaken, looks the same. So that is, this is the real thing that happened, <laughs> essentially. I found that was kind of interesting. I think Nick said that once. Basically everything I know from iRacing is from him, so... <laughs> 
If I say something wrong... No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I was going to say, if I say something wrong, blame him, but no, don't do that. Because <laughs> I say stupid things all the time that are not related to that. But uh, the 13... I guess that's some cosmic karma for running into the back of that other guy. He had to get off the gas, it looked like, because he was going to tear down the wall. And the 15 was not ready. Oh, some scary moments. Close moments there. Hmm. The 10 just doesn't really turn in there, does he? I feel like you, you should be turning in by then. Yeah, I feel like he should probably be down here, and I think the 18 expected it as well. I don't know, kind of hard to tell from this angle, to be honest. But I think the 10 needed to turn down more at this point. Not sure. Yeah, I think the 10 definitely uh, didn't get the racing line quite right. And, uh, oh man, the 18 blasts the wall. Oh my god. You know, it looks like Daffy Duck after he gets blasted. <laughs> you know, the... by uh, Elmer Fudd. Yeah. Oh yeah, here's this thing that happened in front. Apparently blasted is the word of the day too, by the way. I don't know why I keep saying that. So the eight pinch is way too hard. He's just not giving him any room. Makes him get loose. And then he just turns all the way down. Just right across his nose. Like he's not there. He just assumed he was clear when he wasn't. That's just pretty overly aggressive. Not very uh, forward thinking move there. But uh, it's not the eight's fault. It was written in, in the stars. It was going to happen all along. So... I uh, don't know why the five decided to roll all the way onto the track. That is a little questionable as well. No brakes until he gets onto the track on an area where people will cut the apron here. So that seems questionable on its own. But no one is hurt by it, so I guess that's okay. Ooh. Wow, I didn't see this happen. Oh, that's rough. Does the three get around him again? It's not. He was in the lead. He gets loose and then hits the wall hard. At least the seven was able to keep off of him. Good job to him to do that, even though he almost hits the eight when he comes up and gets him. Uh, that is just a blink. Nothing going on there. I don't know what went on here. Was this like a Kyle Larson video game movie was trying? Let me listen to his engine. Oh yeah, he's going for the wall riding tactic here. You can hear him just... He's in it the whole time. His plan was to hope to try to take advantage of the game and ride it all the way across the fence. But it does not work, thankfully. Don't really want anyone to gain any spots that way. In fact, he loses a spot, I think, doesn't he? No, he still keeps it. He almost does. He almost loses it, but... Not quite. I don't know. I guess last corner. People have tried it in real life. I don't know. I'm on the fence about that move. Give your opinion on that, if you would like. Or don't. <laughs> Do what you feel like, because I am not the boss of you. Anyway, top five as the number one... I'll take it. That was a fun race. Um, got held up a little bit by their side-by-side -side battle. I don't know if I ever catch him. Uh, anybody else ahead anyway. And uh, I don't know if I pass those two guys by the end of the race if they don't crash. So uh, I'll take it. Top five. Fun race. Zero X. And hopefully a fun video to watch. I hope. Have a good one. I appreciate you. And I will see you next time. See ya.